Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and I'm here in Melbourne, Australia. And what I want to talk to you about today is not caring if somebody likes you. This is the cure to the fear of rejection that you feel around women, is your fear that they won't like you. And even deeper than that, it's your fear that people won't like who you truly are. And I'm here to tell you all the insights that I have about that and how you can come at peace with that and start to go out there and attract women to you who want you for you. Why do I bring up this topic? Why do I talk about this? Why am I so passionate about speaking about not have, ha having everybody like you? It's because when you stop wanting everybody to approve of you, when you stop wanting everybody to love who you are, when you stop woman, wanting all women to just approve of everything that you have to say, everything that you do, um, your way of being, your beliefs, your sexuality, when you can just let that go and truly be who you are around women, this is when you can start to really draw women to you who want you for you. When you can start to have the uh, interactions that you want to have, that you truly want to have. Let me, let me start that over. That you truly want to have. Because there's so many guys out there who are just like, God, I just want this woman to like me. So I'm going to go up to her and I'm going to say things so she can begin to uh, uh, reciprocate the interest that I have. And then, you know, I'm going to say this so she can begin to, you know, like this about me. I'm gonna say this in a way so the girl can begin to like the fact that I have a lot of money. Whatever it may be, stop wanting that. Get rid of your need for you to want every woman to like you. Get rid of your need for you to want everybody to like you. Because the truth is, not everybody is going to. So the fact that you know not everybody is going to, let go of it now. When I'm out there and I'm speaking to women and I'm interacting with them, the biggest thing that I notice is that the moments where I stop uh, expressing myself and I'm in this fullest expression, those are the moments where women, uh, they begin to become less attracted than they could if I was expressing myself fully. And this is why when I go on dates now, most of the dates I go on, they lead to sex. The reason why is because it's so bodily expressed um, in the beginning about what it is that I want, it's so I'm so at the surface at the beginning that the girl, she just can know what I'm about. She can know uh, through her feeling how she wants uh, me in her life, whether she wants me or don't want me. And that's what I want. I want a woman in a place where she is not on the fence. I want a woman in a place where she's not thinking about whether or not uh, she should sleep with me. I want a woman in a place where she is not thinking about, okay, do I like him? She's just knowing. When a woman is in that place, that's her place of clarity. And I give her that place of clarity by me showing who I am. I don't want her to, uh, to need me. I don't want her to uh, even love me. Now, of course, I want her to like me in the sense of I'll uh, do the best I can in expressing myself, but I truly don't want her to need me. And that's the, that's the thing that I want you guys to understand is that once you get to that place of comfort within yourself, that piece of I don't want everybody to like me, that's when you cure your fear of rejection. Fear of rejection is literally just fear of non-approval. That's what it is. I'm not gonna be approved by this person. I'm not gonna be approved by this woman, by this situation, by me expressing myself in this way. Yeah, you're right. There are gonna be a lot of people who just don't, don't approve of it. There are gonna be a lot of people who just don't want you to succeed or don't want you to be in the way that you wanna be. But it's important for you to be able to sit through that pressure and be able to sit in that space of discomfort and be able to truly express yourself. This takes skill, this takes time. So I'm not just saying you're gonna be able to go out there and just start drawing women to you like this. I'm not saying you're gonna go out there and that every woman is just gonna to wanna to sleep with you right away because of this. But what I am saying is that you're gonna bring women to you who want you for you. That's what you want. You don't want to try to go out there to attract every girl to you. You don't wanna go out there and just express yourself kinda so she can uh, like you and uh, I'm gonna kinda do this so this is too much. And that kinda and pushing back and that kinda that is what uh, really uh, makes a girl very, very confused about you. But when you're clear all the way through, when you can show who you are, when you can just allow yourself to just be exactly what you're gonna be, the woman can truly feel your presence. She can be able to know why you're there. She can clearly say, yes, I like you, or no, I don't like you. And that's what you want. Get used to having people not like who you truly are. 
get used to having women not like some of the things that you truly want to say, some of the ways that you truly want to act. Get used to that. That is how you get over your fear of rejection, is getting used to your real self not being liked by every single person. And this is something that I'm so passionate about because I had to come to this in myself. I came from a background where I did want uh, everybody to like me because I knew that I was in a Christian background. And that Christian background is what brought me to I want everybody to uh, just know who I am, that I have good intentions, that I'm a good boy, that I, you know, I, I don't, you know, do anything that's outside of, you know, you know the, the means of what I should do. All these things, all the bullshit that uh, religion puts on us sometimes, I just had to go through it, man. So now I'm at a place now where I don't want everybody to like me. I allow myself to just re truly express uh, what it is that I want to, and that'll just have an effect on people. You. Who you are will naturally have an effect on people. And I always say to my students, who you are lies behind all, all your unexpressed feelings. All the things that you don't want to say, all the things you don't want to express, that's who you are. And once you can get to that place and begin to express yourself, that's when you're going to truly start to see that not everybody likes you. And you don't want to, man. You really don't want to. So, the cure of rejection, not having everybody like me, being at peace with that, and that's what's going to allow you to draw women to you because you don't you're not going out there to try to attract women you just want to be who you are and allow that to attract women to you so this is Tony Solo from Natural Lifestyles I'm very happy that um, from Melbourne Australia I could just speak to you guys about what it means to me to have not have everybody like you and until next time subscribe below to Essence of Solo and I'm off I gotta go talk to some women now I'm out